Hi guys, this is Ratchet's Roll, and we are playing Criminal Case Best of the Past, and we are going to Case number 44 in Grim Chapel, after which is what's going to be next. And how did this guy die? God damn, so you're up late like me. Nights in Grim Chapel can be foreboding, and your first investigation led us into the realm of witchcraft already. But an experienced detective recognizes color law breaking when he sees it, even if it's disguised as sorcery. Like this alleged pact between the Russians and the devil, it might fool the common man, but not us. It's already obvious that this devil is an ordinary mortal chasing money. They helped Larry Rochester kill the deputy mayor and... He's like, yeah, something terrible has happened. I was patrolling near the old cemetery and I... stumbled upon a dead body. Found a dead body in the cemetery? My dear Cosmo, that is where dead bodies belong. Detective Bot, as you don't understand, his body is buried. The fellow's lie slumped over a tombstone, and a vampire stuck him dry of blood. Vampire? A vampire now? Cosmo, the beaming moon must have played with your senses. Why don't you go to bed and leave this matter to us? Is it clear? I should investigate the cemetery at once. And where is your... Where did this uh, ghost chasing of yours come from? Is it going to be that? You're the one who's scared of ghosts and you are a ghostbuster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 37 of uh, 5 hints. I just got a- I got a all true daily bonus, so... On a f while playing on mobile phone. So... Well, it does look like that, uh... That he was bitten by a vampire. Yeah, in a creepy view, I think this is Dracula's castle in in Bucharest. I don't know how it's called on English. On English, that's it. We call it the Bucharest on Croatian. But you know what I mean, Romania. <laughs> and what the killer is going to be, Dracula. We'll see about that. Where's the, what the fuck is the broken statue? I can't see it. Oh, there. It was hiding behind it. And the shrine? There. Alright. First witch is now vampires. This is going very well. My word. Yeah, this fellow's not only dead, but he's so Hell, there doesn't seem to be an ounce of blood left in him. But I don't see any wound except this puncture marks on his neck. Are you supposed to believe that a vampire bit this man and drank his blood? Horse feathers. A poor day's soul like us for us baby living vampires. But you and I know that someone in Chapel is exploiting people's superstitions to disguise murders. Richard will explain to us how this fellow really died. And I'm kind of expecting him to say that <laughs> that a vampire actually drank blood from him, and that's why he's so. And that's why he's white. So it would help to know the victim's name. But for now, we only have his initials on his tie, E W. What about other clues, Katia? Sharp eye. That tombstone ornament might have been broken by the killer. Putting it back together should give us a lead. And, with due respect to the dead, we may have to inspect that shrine as well. Those holy objects so close to the body might hide something. Got yeah, the night is dark, but it's our duty to shine the light of reason or disgust the crime. Let us proceed. Let's do this. We are gonna investigate vampires now. This is going better and better in each case. Let's start the yacht. Uh, Don't see, I can't wait for the results now. Is it going to be the vampire or just uh, someone disguising murders from the devil? We'll see about that. Let's first examine this shrine. What's it hiding? And at the moment I thought uh, Cruel Case Mysteries of the Past was becoming a bit uh, boring and now with uh, First Witch as now Vampire, this is becoming more exciting now. Got a got a flask in that shrine. But yo, who the honor dead with alcohol? I say there's a nail of the flask, Callum Edwards. How oh, is his initials where EW so this Callum cannot be him? 
But you're right, this nocturnal drink reminded that for our victim. Try to question Mr. Edwards. Okay. I can see by how you hold your bottle that you drink too much. Alright, now this broken statue. Oh. Let's go. Your time has run out just like your blood. Oh. There is tombstone room is a classic representation of death. But you're right, so is not the master of that your time is run out just like your blood. Tarnation, we do know someone whose blood has run out, our victim. So his crucial must have been left by the killer. Sharp eye continues also simple of the statue. You will ascertain its meaning. Okay. I don't know it. Let's go talk to Callum now. Mr. Edwards, where did you find your flask in the cemetery? Can you explain? I'm sorry for drinking a little respect to It was my friend's fault. It was Edgar who wanted to make Barry. Edgar, you say? Is he a best book title fellow whose last name starts with W? That's him, alright, Edgar. Whoa, the poet and my boyhood friend. Are you holding here yourselves too, Inspector? I'm afraid we are holding you in the war, Callum. Your friend was murdered in the cemetery tonight. Murdered? Heavens, what dreadfully summary news. You see, Edgar and I went to the stake and garlic a tower near the woodland. We had a drink, then another. I don't remember how we ended up in the cemetery. We must have passed out because when I woke up, Edgar was still asleep on a tombstone. And then I heard a wolf howl in the graveyard and I, I ran away. Looks like you were the last person to see your friend alive. We better keep you here until you sober up. Meanwhile, Spirity and I shall retrace Edgar's steps to this tower new mansion. Edgar Poe. Sounds like Edgar Poe. Edgar Allan Poe. And they're both writers, <laughs> so. So many connections. Yeah, this already looks a bit creepy, if I must say. Uh, what do I need this horse? What do I need him? And, well, actually, Isaac, are you still afraid of horses? Or, uh, well, you were right, riding a pony, it wasn't a horse, but I'm gonna check this out now. There's a bell. Oh, there. Continue, Sterile looks like the only safe heaven in this dreary woodland. What did... Jump. Jump. Whoa! A, a horse? Dear Lord, Continue, it's huge. Jump, jump. Uh, give me that, what you're holding. Yes, Sterile, something in his mouth, Continue. If this horse is a pony, I will bravely seize it, but this beast could hack my hand off. Jump, jump. Alright, Katia, I can do this. I should slowly reach for the paper in a beast's mouth. Yeah! There! Katia, I have it. It's so near fitted, but now that I've done the hardest part, you're welcome to retreat and write on the paper. But we shall forget that you found a lock too. Let's open it and see what's inside. So much excitement, but you must press on and see what this clue tells about the this night at this tavern. Okay. Please, still afraid of horses. Well, he beat his fear of ponies. Now, you have big guys coming up. Oh, that's the victim and some other woman. Katia lucky open holds two portraits inside. 
Where is that down to your victim, Edgar? Whoa. But who is this fair made it opposite him? You are about to return to the airship and consult our records. Okay. Alright, now the Sogi Peeper. He's permitted to stable his horse at the... Uh, I, I don't want to read it. Got this, only rescue from that fearsome beast is a permission to stable a horse at the tavern. It was issued to our native Edgar Woe. Very considerate of his horse has surrendered this evidence. You're right, the innkeeper must remember our native he issued this permission. Let's speak to this Mr. Oland. Okay. Alright, now who is this woman? You are that fight, Annabelle Lay. Katia, the maiden that the is locked is known by the name of Annabelle Leif. She must have been already Rittis' sweetheart. They must fool Annabelle about Edgar's death. A sad obligation. Okay. Let's first talk to the innkeeper, William. Work to the steak and garlic. What can I get you? Sir so, Katia and I are from the flying squad of Edgar in the mother of Edgar Woe. He stables his horse here tonight. I remember Edgar and his friend. What did you say? Well, they can't say either warn them. Warn them? Of what? The dangers located in the woodland. Can you not hear the creatures of the night howling and growling with madness? Looks like the biggest danger Edgar faced was drinking too much of your tipple. He passed out in the cemetery after you left your tavern and... Let me guess, Hell's Gates opened and the demons fall down and took you. I cautioned you not to go in outside, I did. If you're wise, you'll stay here until daybreak, too. Thank you for your concern, good sir, but you have a murder to solve, but you might hear from us again. You're not going to scare me that easily, no. No, no. Sweet Edgar's dead, you say? I must be dreaming. Please shake me away from this nightmare, kind age strangers. Sadly, it's not a dream, Miss Annabelle. Edgar's been killed. We understand he was your beloved. Edgar loved it with a love that was more than a love. The angels they have it took him, but yeah, they invite our happiness. I fear it was an angel, Miss Annabelle, but a human with devilish intentions who ended Edgar's life. Did Mr. War have any enemies? Who would want to harm a poet? Edgar wrote beautiful verse, all dedicated to me. And now the world is robbed of his poetry, and I am robbed of his love. Miss Annabelle, we are sincerely sorry. Try to rest now and stay indoors. We'll send someone around to check on you. We gotta send Ramirez to check on her. <laughs> Why not? Tell me, tell me, tell me, or not tell me. Uh, was it a vampire bite or something else? Well, a night, the wolves are howling outside, and now this man with all the blood sucked out of him. Sucked out? Richard, I hope you're not suggesting there was anything supernatural about his death. On the contrary, while well, they killed me an obvious death stage of murder as vampire attack, I can tell you how they really did it. The puncture wounds can be observed on the his neck are not teeth marks but perforations made with a hypodermic syringe. So it's not, uh. It wasn't a vampire bite. But it was uh, supposed to look like a vampire bite, so. This is another murder orchestrated by the devil. It's obvious. As previous to the carotid artery, all the killer needed was a small head pop and a container of approximately 5 liters with which to drain the victim's blood. 5 liters, that's how much blood we have in our system, so if we lose half of it, we could die. That's all I. That's what I remember from biology classes in school. The killer used a pop to exsanguinate the victim? A true devilish deed. Katia's right, why did the victim defend himself? The answer to that is in the victim's stomach. He'd consumed approximately 17 pints of... I thought someone 
I thought somebody knocked on the door, but it's actually a washing machine in the kitchen. Sorry, guys. He consumed approximately 30 pits of beer. The killer didn't need to subdue him. He was too drunk to protest. Well, his friend was also drunk, and he said we, they were drinking. They were both drinking, so uh, that makes sense. That's our all, Katri. I found one curious thing to make this knack phone. A single hair belonging to a cat. The placement of the hair suggested gave her the needle and therefore the cure. You know how cats shed their hair everywhere. The cure must have a cat as a companion. Well, the cat will bring bad luck to the cure now that Katria is on their trail. Black cat. It's bad luck somewhere and, some w and somewhere else it could be good luck. I don't know. What is it now? Does uh, Is black cat a bad or good luck? I don't know. First witches, now vampires. Cause yeah, it looks like you're on another journey to your cult. Such enthusiasm for superstition does not benefit a member of the flying squad, Evelyn. Now, now, Mr. Bot, as we all know, you never play a big game of chess without your Grizz Chris. Yes, dude. That's not the same thing at all. It's not superstition, it's tradition. Uh, don't lie to me, so. But let's talk about this simple idea if I don't have statue by the body. Well, the message itself was written in ash as used to carve bones of goats. A tradition if you wish in vampire lore. And the symbol is taken from a little known version of Dracula's legend. It's a rune representing rat, one of the seven deadly sins. In shock, the you kill warned of it that his death was imminent for he'd be invoked the rat of a vampire. Of course, you know, you kill is just an ordinary mortal, but one who is well versed in vampire lore and proud to show it off. Well, if our kill is a vampire, I so we should break some garlic along with the hang us when we arrest the Katia. Yeah, break some garlic so we can scare him off. Actually, not. We don't want him to run away, but if he is actually a vampire, then we can defend ourselves, so. That, then we need a cross, a crucifix, and what else? Shiv? I don't know how it is. Uh, hammer and I don't know what's called this other thing on English. Katria, what a peculiar night. We're dealing with the case of a dead poor who was fine with the blood drain from his body. But the barrels all the marks of a vampire attack when we know it's all smoke and mirrors. So the group chapel known as the devil is helping people disguise murders and supernatural attacks. They have Larry Rochester's and they might have had a hand in this murder too. But who could have wanted the poet dead? His muse? His friend? Or the innkeeper? Who... Katia yeah, dropped everything you received a dinner invitation. It is imperative that you attend. A dinner invitation? But gee, we're in the middle of a murder investing... Say another war, but test. trust me, this is an invitation you cannot refuse. Katia, yeah, get ready. Ah, who is inviting me to a dinner? Dracula? Rochester's? We'll see it. Alright, we're gonna start. Here we go, continue playing chapter 2. So, thank you for watching. Look, if you like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye! Uh,